What is going on guys? Welcome back to my video. This is Saki and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about one of the greatest mysteries in the English language. So I've been studying English for a long time and now I believe I'm pretty familiar with the English grammar. But one day I realized there have always been a lot of questions about English that are grammatically unexplainable. And one of the questions that bothered me the most was Why is will not contracted as won't? So if you're familiar with how English words are contracted, you will quickly notice that the abbreviation of will not should be willn't or wint. But it's not. It's won't. And I really wanted to know why, so I made a little research on the internet, I read some articles, and I came to one conclusion. Today, I'm gonna share what I learned with you guys. So the answer has a lot to do with the history of English. It goes back to around 15th century. Back then, there were two ways to say will. Will and will. The reason why is because they came from different origin. So depending on the region or dialect, people used either will or will. And the negative forms were willn't and won't, respectively. But as the English got standardized, will became dominant over will, and won't became dominant over willn't as the negative form. The reason has not been revealed, maybe the pronunciation was easier the way, or things like that. And later, the letter L dropped out of won't. Again, I don't really know why, but won't and won't sound pretty similar to me. I don't know how they sound to native English speakers, but at least they sound pretty much the same to me. Anyways, the letter L dropped out of won't, and that's pretty much how it became won't. It was not as surprising as I expected, but what I can see from this little research is that English is a very irregular language in terms of spelling, and that's one of the features that hold back English learners. But it's not completely random, I mean, it all has reasons, it all has histories. And if you have a problem with irregular spellings or any kind of irregularity in English, just look them up on the internet. Maybe things start to look less irregular and maybe that's gonna help your English learning. I don't know, that's just my opinion. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you very soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.